All right, in this video, I'm going to uh, show you how to animate your dock. Um, and here's what I'm talking about. Suppose we have, you know, a couple of little uh, icons down here in our dock, and maybe, you know, one for our time, one to get the weather, um, whatever you have down here. But suppose, you know, you don't want to crowd these things up, so I got a little button right here, and you can have more icons on your dock. And there we go. Now we have, you know, I can open up my phone to call somebody. I can check my text messages here. I can open up my camera and all that stuff. And this button right here will basically um, go back and forth between these two docks. Now, all I have is two docks. And I want to show you how you can animate them, and then I'm going to show you various ways that you can animate these, not to only have this type of effect, but you can also, you know, have them slide in or however you want to do that. And I'm just using the on-off switch, and I'll go into KOWP and show you this. This is a subscriber request, by the way, so uh, that's why I'm covering this video. Um, the only thing to uh, do this particular dock to make it work the way it's working is I've created an on-off switch. I called it bar. And back in the items, um, I got two. There are actually two of these docks. Um, bottom, button, bar one, dock one, whatever you want to call it, and then bottom, button, bar two. And I'll tell you what, let me put on the little... Uh, hidden feature that way now this one here that's the one with the time weather RSS music and system info whereas if I back up uh, the button 2 is the one that has the okay we can't see this one right now because of the way I have it animating but if I come over here I tell you what let me go to globals let me cut this bar uh, let me toggle that on. As you can see, it did change. So now, if I go back to bottom button bar 2, um, that's the only thing you see here. So there's two of them. And what you want to do is you want to put one right above the other one. So basically, what you could do is once you create your first one, you know, check that, copy it, paste it, and create your second one and leave them right on top of each other. And that's all I did there. So now, the way I have it animating is I made a little button, and that button is this guy right here, shape, circle, slice, as you can see right there. And I have it set to touch, nothing fancy here. Um, underneath touch, toggle global switch, and toggle that global switch bar. All right, now all we have to do is apply, you know, when we, uh, when we toggle this global switch, we have to apply the animations to these bars. And here's how we, I can get that effect where one is like uh, scaling vertically ver over the other and underneath animation for that uh, bottom button bar one remember we have two of them uh, don't worry about this one uh, that's like an unlock animation but this is the one we want to talk about so global switch um, it's reacting on the global switch that global switch bar and we are scaling out vertical and I knock my time down a little bit to like half a second and everything else I have, oh yeah, and set your anchor to the module bottom. Let me play this right now and see if it's going to work. Um, it's going to look a little funky here. Yeah, it's going to look better on the home screen. But uh, ease it normal, module bottom, and I'm scaling out vertical. So change your anchor, and you'll see the other one for bottom button bar 2. Animation, scale out vertical, and notice I have it. For module top and I have it inverted so the reason why you have to do inverted is that when one of them goes away essentially when that switch is going on one of them is going away and another one is coming up whereas when the switch is off the other one's going away and the other one's coming up if that makes any sense um, only one of these is going to be shown at each time uh, depending on you know this one which one is this bottom button bar 2 this one is going to animate and show when I think the switch is off it doesn't really matter as long as you have it inverted because now let me go back to my home screen um, whether the switch be on or off but you'll see it scale out vertically as you can see there so that's this one's scaling out vertically and now when I press it again there you go and that's all I'm doing so it's an on-off switch, and we're scaling out vertically, and we're changing our anchors to like either the module top or the module bottom. And that's how we're getting that effect. Now some other cool things to show you in regards to animating these. i tell you what. Let's see here. Going back to the root folder. And let's, uh, okay, let's do this bottom button bar one all right 
I can't see it right now because of that switch. So I'll tell you what, if I think if I just delete this global switch, because I'm going to do a different animation anyway, there it is, bottom button bar one, this guy. Now I'm going to position this one over here to the left. And I honestly didn't have to do that, but I'm going to do it anyway. And this other guy, uh, bottom button bar two. I'm going to delete its animation as well. And let's position this one over to the right. So remember, bottom button bar one is on the left, which is off the screen. Bottom button bar two is on the right, which is off the screen. So one, two. Now, let's go back and I'm going to go back to bottom button bar one. I'm going to apply an animation and watch what this is going to do. I'm going to show everything. Okay, so plus animate, react on, global switch. Global is going to be the bar, still an on off switch here. And we're going to scroll. So notice how it just scrolled in. That's exactly what I want this thing to do. Boom. And I don't know why it's kind of clicking in, but it, I, I think this is going to work fine. Scroll, normal. Um, I tell you what, I want it to be a little bit faster. I like quick animations. Speed of 100. Since I had this whole thing and it's the exact width, you might have to tweak your speed a little bit. But this one here, I'm good. That's perfect because this is sliding from the left to the right and it's getting in the center of my screen. Now, back to... Let me copy and paste that animation. We've got to tweak a little bit for bottom button bar 2. That's the one that's over here. So animation, let me paste. Now, it's actually going to slide it to the right and we don't want that to happen. A way to fix that, let me go and change my visibility. Um, what we need to do here is we need to change our angle. We need to change our angle to 180 because basically we want it to go in the other direction. And let me bump this on up. Whoa. Come on. All right, I'm just gonna do like that. All right, so that's where we want it. And now, I tell you what, this is probably not going to work the way I want it to, but hey, I like to save, I like to test. Let's see what happens. All right, I'm pressing the switch, and they're both, okay, see what's happening? I don't know if you can really tell by this, but when I'm pressing that, it's like they're both off the screen, and when I press this, they're both on the screen. So this is going back to that inverted thing. Basically, we can invert either one of these um, to have one off the screen when the other one's on, and this should, since I'm in this one, bottom button bar two, scroll, if I go to ease and do inverted, that should fix it to where only one is showing depending on uh, that button press. So let's go back to the home screen. So we got this one, and there you go, bam. Check that out. So now we have a scrolling dock based on that button. And I, I didn't change anything about my global variable. Um, I'm still reacting on the global switch. I just changed the way these things are animated, and I did move them around a little bit, too. And just to throw a few more ideas out there for those of you who are uh, just getting into KLWP, what you can also do is we can copy and paste, and we can add multiple things. Now, this is going to get a little crazy, but I'll tell you what, we're going to do it anyway. I'm going to rotate. I don't know what this is going to look like. But we're going to roll with it anyway, and I'm going to go back to my bottom bottom button bar one. I'm going to copy and paste that one. Just giving you some ideas. Scroll, let's rotate, invert it. It doesn't really matter. It's just going to rotate. One's going to go clockwise. The other one's going to go counterclockwise. Let's see what this looks like. See that? Boom. So there you go. You know, um, really just two docks back to the original thing I started off with where I had them laying on top of each other where one just kind of scaled out vertical from the module top, the other one scaled out vertical from the module bottom. And that's all dealing with your anchor uh, when you're dealing with that animation. But there you have it. That is how you can um, animate your docks uh, that you make inside of KOWP. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.